Okay, boys of uh, class seven. This is with reference to your assignment number four, chapter number seven, unitary method. The very word unit stands for one. So what we are trying to find out is when something like cost of many items are given, and we are finding out the cost of one. These are sums that you have actually done in your previous classes, class 5 and class 6. So let's have a look at the way you were doing it. Let's take an example straight away. The cost of 5 books is rupees 30. Find the cost of 8 books. So what we were doing in the previous classes was we are finding out firstly the cost of 5 books which is already given in the question. Cost of 5 books is rupees 30. Then we were finding out the cost of one book. So the cost of one book will be 30 rupees divided by 5 books. That will give us rupees 6 for one book. And then we were finding out the cost of 8 books. Cost of 1 is 6. So you multiply it by 8 books, we get rupees 48. This was the method that you were using. Now we move on and what we want to learn today is the new method which we are calling it the arrow method. Now what is the arrow method? We will take the same question. The cost of 5 books is rupees 30. Find the cost of 8 books. So there are two things here. One is the book and one is the cost. So we will divide it in two columns. One side number of books and the other side will have the cost in terms of the unit that is rupees. So from the question we understand that the, when the number of books is 5, the cost will be 30 rupees. They asked us to find out the cost of 8 books. So number of books now is 8 and the cost is going to be x rupees. Now coming to the arrow. Coming to the arrow. The arrow head will always point to the bigger number. For example, number of books. 5 books, 8 books. 8 is the bigger one. So the arrow head, sorry. The arrow head is going to point downwards showing for here what is happening is 8 is the bigger number this is the arrow head and this is regarded as the arrow tail so similarly when we go to the next column the cost of 5 books is 30 definitely practically speaking cost of 8 is going to be more so which means x is going to be more so our arrowhead is again moving downwards. Now, using these arrowhead and arrow tail, we come to the conclusion that arrowhead upon the arrow tail of the first column will be equal to the arrowhead divided by the arrow tail of the second column. So coming to that, arrowhead of the first column, which is 8, Arrow tail of the second one is 5 will be equal to arrow head of the first one, second one is x and arrow tail of the second one is 30. So we get 8 upon 5 is equal to x upon 30. So what we understand, this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side. So leaving the unknown x on the right hand side all alone, we move this 30 to the other side. 30 here is dividing, so we understand when it moves to the left hand side here, it will multiply. So it becomes 8.5 multiplied by 30 is equal to x. Now we can cancel, 5 ones are 5, 5 six are 30. So finally, x will be equal to 8 multiplied by 6 which is 48. Now finally, we can just write down that the cost of 8 books is equal to rupees 48. So what is important here in this whole chapter is getting the arrowhead and the arrow tail absolutely correct. You can go through all the work that we have done and think about the arrowhead and the arrow tail.
depending on which number will be bigger and which one will be smaller. Thank you.